Today we're going to look at Psalm 86. Psalm 86 is too beautiful not to read the whole thing. So I'm going to keep my comments brief so that you can see the splendor of this psalm. But essentially what we're dealing with is the psalmist making requests of God based on their relationship. The psalmist declares that he is the servant of God and God is his master. And based on that, certainly it puts the servant on the hook to live a certain kind of life. But he also is appealing to that relationship, puts the master on the hook to care for and watch out for and provide for the servant. See, he is making these requests based on his relationship with God and what God has committed himself to because of that relationship. Just to frame this psalm before we read it, I want to read you Isaiah 41, verses 9 through 12, to set the stage of what God has committed himself to in his relationship with those he loves. Isaiah 41, verse 9 through 12 says this, I took you from the ends of the earth. From its farthest corners I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. That is what God has committed himself to in his relationship with us. It's the beautiful news. And that's why the psalmist in, in, in Psalm 86 is able to make the requests he does. And these are the requests. As we go through Psalm 86, you'll see three kinds of requests the psalmist makes. In verses 1 to 7, he is asking God to listen and answer to him. And verses 8 through 13, he's asking that God listen and be affirmed by his words. And lastly, in verses 14 through 17, he's asking God to listen and then act. So I'm going to read this psalm over you in the balance of our time. And what I'd like you to do is just sit back and take the posture of a servant, knowing that God has committed himself to you because of that relationship to watch out for you, to hear you, and provide for you with his righteous right hand. So now, listen to the words of Psalm 86 in the safe, secure posture of a servant of the Most High God. I'll read a translation by an Old Testament commentator, Marvin Tate. And again, in the posture of a servant, hear the word of the Lord to you. Bend your ear, O Yahweh, give me an answer, for I am poor and needy. Protect my life, for I am loyal to you. Save your servant, O you my God. Save this one who trusts in you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to the soul of your servant, for I lift up my soul to you, O Lord. For you, O my Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in loyal love for all who call to you. Listen, O Yahweh, to my prayer and give attention to my pleas for mercy. In my time of distress, I call to you, for you can answer my prayers. None is like you among the gods, O my Lord, and there are no works to compare with yours. All the nations that you have made will come and bow down before you, O my Lord, and they will glorify your name. For great are you, a worker of wonders. You, O God, are without a peer. Teach me, O Yahweh, your way, that I may walk in your faithfulness. Unite my heart to fear your name. I promise to thank you, O oh, my Lord, my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever because of your great loyal love for me, in that you will deliver my soul from Sheol's 
lowest part. O God, the godless have risen against me, a ruthless gang has sought my life. They have no regard for you. But you, O my Lord, a compassionate and merciful God, slow to anger and abounding in loyal love and faithfulness, turn to me and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant and save the son of your handmaid. Work a sign that all will be well for me, that those who hate me may see and be dismayed that you, O Yahweh, have helped and comforted me. That is the word of the Lord to those who love him and find themselves in a servant-master relationship with the Most High God. I encourage you, if you find yourself in that place, to make the same requests because of your relationship with God. You would ask God to listen and answer you. That you would ask God to listen and be affirmed by your praise of him. And you would ask God to listen and act on your behalf.